good late morning everyone it's approaching 11 30 and i'm coming in for my fourth braces adjustment it's going to be five months since i had braces um coming up this week uh but i am going to get my fourth adjustment because you know the first appointment was you know basically when you get it bonded so this is gonna be my fourth because yeah december january february march april fourth <laughs> um so I just wanted to do a quick update on how my teeth look. So I have red rubber bands and the gap is slowly closing because I have the power chain. I've been having the power chain since February. Sorry, it's like the worst view ever, but um, so yeah, I had the power chain since January and then I have red rubber bands. Oh, this tooth right here has been um, pretty much turned but I know it's gonna do something it's gonna be so uncomfortable I hate I like I'm starting to resent a little bit how these braces uh, adjustments are going because it's like I'm so uncomfortable with the seat with whatever he's doing like banging on my teeth or something but yeah I'm gonna do all silver uh, just so it can match the power chain I think they only have one color for power chains and it's only silver so I'm gonna get all silver that can match but yeah I just wanted to do a quick update I'm very I'm I'm so so I'm hoping that I, these can get off in a couple more months but yeah I don't I don't mind they're there I know it's gonna be it's probably gonna be painful because it's still closing the gap and it's gonna be another night of not being able to sleep but it's all good all right braces update I just finished my appointment I got all silver which I like. I like how everything's matching. Power chain. Um, I don't know if they put two power chains. I was so confused. I don't know if there's like a two or three power chains. I have to examine it closer. But yeah, looks good. I don't know if that one has a rubber band two or not. Sorry, my mouse two is all dry, so I'm getting I'm getting in there. But yeah, I like it. Uh, he said there's going to be gaps forming because they're closing the gap. So, yeah, I'm excited, though. Hey, guys. So, it's a different day. I just got back from the grocery store, and I'm just going to share what I got. It's not a lot of items. I have most items that I need, and I only went to two places. I went to Aldi just real quick because I really wanted one of their Aldi finds, which I'll show. And then I just went to Market Basket. It's just a refill and restock of things, and I'm making a... Um, you know dinner i try to meal prep so do they're just like mainly meal prep stuff all right we'll start with the first store aldi i only got three items here and they're just random stuff that i saw uh and i usually like going to aldi just to see like their aldi finds and stuff but the first one was these cookie things now i can't eat these now but i'm gonna show a bag once i finish when i once i get my braces off i'm gonna show you what i've been hoarding but uh servings six cookies 130 calories they're really small because if you look at the gram it's 28 grams so that's like a fourth of a cup basically so just wanted to try these they're not the keto cookies i mean look 11 grams of added sugar that is a lot and the second ingredient is brown sugar so they're not they're like a good like dessert i would say half um like eat half a serving for like a dessert or something so Got those, won't be eating them anytime soon. What I didn't also expect to have was this. It's a cutting board scissors. And I really like scissors to cut up chicken and um, other things like that. And this one is like cutting style, I guess. Like it has a board to cut. I don't know if it's gonna work, we're gonna see. But it shows that it's cutting carrots, meaning that it might be a bit more versatile than just the regular kitchen scissors that I have that I got from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these now or whenever I do eventually move out. So I might just keep them and, you know, I do, I, I'm a, I'm a lover of kitchen essentials. Like random kitchen things. And appliances, stuff like that. And if I could, my dream would be like a beautiful kitchen <laughs> with a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, so I do like kitchen essentials, uh, glass, bowls, all that stuff good stuff so I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna open that now or later but the one thing that I really want to get at all these was if I could get it open 
these. So they're the Sarah Lady Mules. I want a cheetah because they have cheetah, this like um satin kind version, which didn't look good anyways. When I, I initially when I saw a picture of it, I'm like, oh I want that one. This is actually there are three options and this was like number three on the one that I didn't want. But I'm a size 10 and they only had 10s in this version. So I figured let me try them and look at them, they're not bad. And they're just good spring wear, you know, just to put on. And they're only ten dollars. You can get mules um at Target or Walmart that's fifteen to twenty-five dollars. So these are only ten dollars, so I didn't mind. And they look pretty good. And I'm just gonna use them just to go to work and stuff. But I really like the you know the slip-on style and whatnot. So if you are watching this. Uh, head to your local Aldi's to see if they have these mules because I think they're going to be pretty nice. So I only got three things at Aldi's. We'll go on to Market Basket. Market Basket was a pretty quick trip as well as just a couple of items. So first, just stocked up on some almond milk. Unsweetened, of course. Original. I'm making chicken tikka masala for the next two weeks. So, oh, this expires. Well, actually, yeah, I'll be able to use it. I was like, it expires pretty quick, but no, May is still a month away. So I got some phage or faye. So I pronounce phage, it's pronounced faye, but I go phage. Please put the accent. Where's the accent? <laughs> but I guess that's the Greek symbol. Maybe so that's why faye. That's pronounced faye. You hear me say phage all the time. Faye. So I got that. And that's, you know, chicken tikka masala. And then I have some factory ready whip. I'm making a pasta bake, which I'll also film. And I just needed to make adjustments because the first time I made it, I put way too much ricotta. It was just way too much for me to handle, so I didn't like it. Well, I ate it, but it wasn't like I had to modify it. Um, so I picked up some pasta sauce for that. And I bought two cans of the crushed tomatoes for the tikka masala. And I'm saying two different recipes because I usually make two different dinners during the week because I don't want to eat the same thing every single day. That will bore me and annoy me. So I alternate between, I'm going to be alternating next week between the tikka masala and the pasta bake. So yeah, two cans and that's it on that bag. And let's go to the next bag. Next bag mozzarella for the pasta bake because I ran out got some garlic for the tikka masala oh sorry this is ginger ginger for the tikka masala bananas for my protein shakes I'm gonna get those nice and brown before I cut them up and I put them in the freezer every time I use bananas I cut them up and cut them up when they're brown and freeze them here is the garlic and last but not least, fat-free half and half for the tikka masala. The recipe that I'm currently using for it, I love. I posted about it before. That is going to be my go-to recipe. And how I made it in the video is how I'm making it moving forward. I think it turned out wonderfully. I think the seasoning blend was great. Just a nice level of spice. Uh, macros are pretty good for me. So... That is going to be my go-to recipe for the tikka masala. So check that out. It's a revised version, but the original recipe is posted in the description. So yeah. So that's my quick grocery haul. And yeah, not, not too bad at all. I think I spent $20 total uh, at each store. So $40, but you know. I only shop like every week. And I usually spend like $40 a week. So I would say it's not bad i don't know <laughs> but it's, it works for me uh so uh yeah that's it all right everyone i just wanted to end off this video i weighed in at 281.2 i think i was up 0.6 and i think it was because of shark week i was still on my period so shark week and i woke up earlier than usual because of work and I, I just knew I was like stressed last night because of school, so I just knew it was not going to be a good way in before I even weighed in. But I'm not too worried. I know I was still at a calorie deficit throughout last week, so I'm not worried at all. But yeah, I'm going to do a monthly recap next week, post that. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.